dirty thief. I'll have your hand for that. <laughs> Won't anyone help me? Dirty thief. I'll have your hand for that. Huh? What you doing that? He has found the strength to stand in defense of our great civilization. You want it? Come I've on, got come it. On. like a child. Come, have a look. You won't be disappointed. Like what you see? my presence? That will cost you your life! Help me! Somebody help me! Tired of never finding oh. anything useful at the other end. Oh, that at that was not very nice. I've got what you need! I'm sure of it! Take a look! See if I'm not right! I'm telling you, it's rats. No, it's children. I hear them laughing. Rats or children. Either way, it's bad for business. All that noise! Someone needs to get up on those beams and clear them out. I wonder how they're getting up there. Must be through the central courtyard. Then we should ask the guard to have a look. Ah, they're all much too busy polishing the backside of their master. Altair, welcome! Welcome! I've done what you asked. Now give me the marker. First things first. Tell me what you know. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? 
A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Exactly what you want. What I the like bargain? That. I'm your man. Come, come. I want to How reckless can one get? Something caught your eye? Now, why did you do that? Welcome. I have everything you ever need. I need food. I'm so hungry. Just a little money, I beg of you. or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination, it is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I ask in return was you fill the orders I bring you. And you say I ask too much? <laughs> you dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No! Stop! Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. Stop! You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me! Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. Just a few coins, please. please. I'm pretty ready to stand. You're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then. 
Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah, but he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al-Malim. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is... Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. 
The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts, large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Sorry I'm late. Yes, we are. You've done well, Altair, and I'm confident that this is but the first of many successes. Tamir spoke as if he knew you well. He implied my work had a larger meaning. Significance comes not from a single act, but the context within which it is performed. The consequence is born of it. Then is there more I need to know? Altair, your greatest failure was born of knowing too much. If I choose to withhold information, it is only to ensure you do not make the same mistake a second time. I see. No, you don't. And it will remain this way until you've learned your lesson. Still, you have performed competently. And as such, I restore a rank and will return a piece of your equipment. Go now, either to Akka or Jerusalem. There are men in both cities who require your attention. The Bureau leaders can tell you more about what needs to be done. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. to run into someone.
Use throwing knives to deal with distant enemies. Failure stop.
What you lack, you will provide. All that is asked is an honest day's work. A small sacrifice for great rewards. You need no longer go without. Any man willing to work can have his due. Come, speak with me. Let me tell you what Talal can offer. The comforts of a fine life can be yours. These are troubled times in which we live. Food is scarce, money tight, but it need not be this way. There are opportunities for those Away with, with the courage to seize them. Who knows what the future holds, what tragedies tomorrow may bring. Defend against an uncertain future. Protect the ones you love. Work hard, and you will be rewarded. The love provides. You need no longer go without. Any man What tragedy tomorrow may bring. Defend against an uncertain future. Protect the ones you love. Work hard and you will be rewarded. The love provides. Who knows what the future holds? What tragedies tomorrow may bring. Defend against an uncertain future. Protect the ones you love. Work hard and you will be rewarded. The love provides. I have nothing to say to you. Speak to me or speak to God. It's your choice. You won't stop the work he does. Cannot stop it. Stop what? What work? He prepares them for the journey. Journey where? They are held in his warehouse. And when the time comes, they are sent to Akka. Where is this warehouse? And why Akka? Talal tells me what I need to know. Nothing more. It is safer that way. For him, perhaps. Though not, I fear, for you. They leave horrors in their wake. 
Karahani's ride will meet him. Probably that right. Let these horror ash might be avenged. And another one. Pray that God, glorious what and exalted is he, find favor with us. That he may grant our victory. You're hurting me. Dirty thief. I'll have your hand for that. Safety and peace, Malik. Your presence here deprives me of both. What do you want? Al Muallam has asked. Asked that you perform some menial task in an effort to redeem yourself. So be out with it. Tell me what you can about the one they call Talal. It is your duty to locate and assassinate the man, Altair, not mine. You'd do well to assist me. His death benefits the entire land. Do you deny his death benefits you as well? Such things do not concern you. Your actions very much concern me. Then don't help me. I'll find him myself. <sighs> wait, wait. It won't do having you stumble about the city like a blind man. Better you know where to begin your search. I'm listening. I can think of three places. South of here in the markets that line the border between the Muslim and Jewish districts. To the north near the mosque of this district and east in front of St. Anne's Church. Close to the Babariha Gate. Is that everything? It's enough to get you started, and more than you deserve. 